Glee star Cory Monteith's death was undoubtedly tragic, and every time a celebrity passes away at a young age, the news dominates headlines for a long time following the event. But just how common is such an occurrence? How often is it that celebrities pass away at a young age, and what was the cause of their deaths? To find out, we decided to take a look at all of the notable celebrities who passed away before the age of 40, from 1950 to the present. Perhaps one of the most surprising things that we found right off the bat was that this is not actually that common of an occurrence. In our search, we found a total of just 103 celebrities, ranging from people like Tupac and Biggie, Hendrix and Joplin, and even Hank Williams and James Dean. Here's what we discovered. Of the celebrities who left us before 40, the average age at their time of death was 31, which oddly enough is the same age that Corey passed away. 37% of those deaths were in some way drug-related, including overdoses, alcohol poisoning, or prescription medication-related casualties. These accounted for far and away the greatest number of deaths, with notable examples including Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, and more recently, Heath Ledger. The second most common occurrence was death related to either a car accident or a plane crash, accounting for 20% of the deaths. Notable examples include people like Princess Diana, John F. Kennedy Jr., and more recently, Ryan Dunn. 16% were the result of medical complications, including things like heart attack, cancer, and HIV. Notable examples included Karen Carpenter, Andy Kaufman, and Bob Marley. 13% were due to an actual homicide or assassination, many of these occurring in the 60s, with figures like Sam Cooke, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., and Sharon Tate. 8% were the result of an accident, including drowning, and in two cases, that of Brandon Lee and John Eric Hexum, death from a blank round of a gun while filming a movie. The final and least common cause of death was suicide, accounting for only 7% of deaths. And although this was the least common form of death, it's arguably the one that hits us the hardest. Notable examples included Ian Curtis, Kurt Cobain, and Freddie Prinze Sr. All of these deaths were tragedies in their own right, and the fact that we could only find just over 100 of them really serves as an example of just how impactful an event their passing was.